This is Keith Berkelhammer and this is Reef Bum TV. In this video I'm going to provide my review of the Bubble King Double Cone 250 Skimmer from Royal Exclusive. Along the way I will also provide some tips on how to use and dial in the skimmer. Out of the box it is quite clear that this is a high quality and well engineered product. The attention to detail is incredible and it is obvious that the skimmer was built to last a very, very long time. My skimmer sits in a Royal Exclusive Dream Box, which was designed to accommodate the skimmer, helping to maximize its performance. A great feature on the sump are the removable lids, which helps to minimize evaporation. The pump is a Red Dragon 3 Mini Speedy Pump, and it has a controller that can adjust the pump's speed. A very nice feature that can be utilized to set the pump to go a bit below its max setting during the break-in period. There is a learning curve on the skimmer, so it does take some adjustments to dial it in to maximize performance. I do want to point out that you have to be careful not to constantly tinker with the skimmer after the break-in period, or you will end up chasing your tail. Servicing the skimmer is quite convenient as the collection cup unscrews very easily. It is a very big cup, so it can handle a lot of skimmate, although it does have a drain hose that can direct the skimmate to a separate waste collection cup. Servicing the pump is easy as well. Okay, so let's talk about some things that will help you dial in this skimmer. In regards to the water bubble line, which can be adjusted by turning the red wedge pipe, I typically have my line where the collection cup sits on the body or neck of the skimmer. At this point, I am skimming wet, so my line is actually a bit higher, Something I do have to be careful about since the skimmer is more prone to overflowing and dumping impurities back into the sump. As you can see, this skimmer certainly earns its name as the Bubble King. Another factor impacting performance is the height of the water in which the skimmer sits. My skimmer sits in 8 inches of water right in the middle of the recommended 7 to 9 inch range. The water level will impact the head pressure on the pump, with more water on top of the pump creating more head pressure, causing the pump to pull and inject less air into the skimmer. Less water on top of the pump will lower the head pressure, allowing it to draw more air and push more water. If your skimmer seems off and is not skimming properly, you may want to check the resonator to see if it is clogged. It is a good idea to take this apart and clean it at least once a month to make sure it is not blocked with salt crystals which can certainly impact performance. Additionally, I found the placement of the outlet pipe to have a major impact on performance. This piece of PVC rotates, and when I pointed mine directly into the baffles of my sump, my skimmer's performance was greatly enhanced. My outlet was originally directing water within the skimmer compartment of the sump, so the skim water was going right back to the skimmer pump. In a nutshell, this skimmer is pricey, but well worth it in my opinion. It can be a bit quirky when trying to dial it in, but once you learn the ins and outs, it skims incredibly well, placing it at the head of its class. For more videos like this one, as well as a live HD webcam of my reef tank, please click on this link. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be alerted to new videos on my YouTube channel.